interrupt your classes are actually also forking. Fun fact, most people who are builders are not engineers. Not sure about me. The fun fact is half <laughs> the fun fact. So you tell me, Paji. The irony is that a message yeah. to people who are running universities, come to us, we have a curriculum ready. You make money, yeah, make people at least educated. We uh, are also uh, running a program, but they want to do, want us to do uh, everything. So, fun fact, most people who are builders are not engineers. Would you agree? Yes. Not sure about it. Not sure, <laughs> but don't have to be politically correct. Uh, no, almost half of them are half of them are. Sorry, the fun fact is half <laughs> the fun fact. So, if you don't know as a profession, if you go to a lawyer, he knows law. But if you go to a general person who doesn't know law and he's going to give you legal advice, don't take it. Having said that as a frame, we are here as experts. I will introduce myself probably later. I am not an anchor here, by the way. I own the McCoy group of companies. We are manufacturers. We are related to all of these people. I know sir since 30 plus years. Mario from the time, I guess, he came to India. Akash built this house that we are sitting in. I live here and I am grateful to you. Thank this you is know. one of your projects which worked well. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 it's still, it's still. So stemming, stemming from, so why a consumer should watch this show and why you should be looking at what we're talking about is, we're going to talk about standard problems which come in homes. So why, uh, so the episode here is uh, termed as the 50 shades of homes. And WFM presents this because we are the largest media company for the facade and fenestration. And the first shade we picked up today for starting up is, uh, a shade called doors, windows and glass. Because imagine yourself that's raining outside, you're looking out at the glass window with a cup of coffee or with a drink and saying, hey, and all of a sudden, water leaks and it's on your face. So Mario, why do you make windows where it leaks all the time? Because I should close the window once the rain is coming. <laughs> no, okay. that, that I was should close the window when it's coming. <laughs> Otherwise, yes. <clears throat> Installation is a very large concern about doors and windows which should be airtight, watertight during rain and... Could you explain a little bit in a bigger frame and uh, what is airtight window and what's a watertight window? Explain it in a simple word for an end consumer to understand mm. airtightness, it's just a word. We can see the wonderful curtain behind us. Airtightness means whatever storm, hurricane is going to be outside, your curtain remain as it. The moment the curtain starts moving, my window isn't airtight anymore. And yes, of course, fixed frames are usually, of course, airtight. But in residences, we have to go out, we have to step to balconies, we need ventilation. This is where hardware becomes the major role, a part of the installation, so that windows are going to get airtight as max as possible. Of course, when we talk about hurricane or disaster things, then definitely more locking points are going to rest assured. When you're talking about a locking point, I don't think anybody understands. Mm. Do you understand? You understand probably by now. Yeah. But when was the first time you understood the concept of locking point? When I bought my first UPVC window. And what bullshit did the UPVC guy give you? So Sorry, uh, yeah, no offense to you, but... Uh, fortunately, he did, not, uh, he did not give me any bullshit. Uh, the guy who I bought it from is a very good friend now. Okay. <laughs> so, he didn't give me any bullshit, uh, fortunately. But normally, uh, if you look from a perspective of a builder, I, I put it like this and we used to do something, you remember the Zach world of facades and the fenestration and all the frames are white in colour. Hmm. How do you make out the difference between one white frame to the other white frame when it comes to let's say UPVC windows and we will talk about a UPVC window. Perhaps Mario can explain the connotation. What is a UPVC window? Mario? UPVC window and plus the size and plus the size means I have a lot of additional parameters in it doesn't burn. Question is what happened during fire? You please escape from your building and UPVC will not support the fire. It will not burn. It will melt down. But important is again you have to rush out as possible because it is none of a concern when so it's, it's going a to fire. Safe Safe yes. building material. Yes, it's a safe building material. And now having since one and a half years, the first standard in India for Indian 
profiles, new PVC profiles in exactly. place. It means discoloration. Of course, we have a lot of sunlight. We don't talk about much about UV. It is maybe too technical, but everyone knows we have a lot of sunlight hours here in India during the entire year, much more than in Europe where the birth was there for the UPVC profiles. That's why the former law in India has to be much better, much stronger. And now since one and a half years, we have the right standard in place where the right testing hours are made as per the Indian climate. And following the standard, even after many, many years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, your window will still look perfectly white. So we'll come to the locking point because I want to lock this point of locking point. And what did you understand and how important was it? I, uh, it's. Uh, see, he, he spoke about uh, profiles. I think profile uh, is one component of, of windows. And I think the next, uh, or the most important uh, component is the hardware, right? Uh, and maybe the next, uh, and the glass. Sorry. Can I jump in? Yeah, this yeah. window, people said, when I came to India, I didn't understood it in 2006. My window is as good as my hardware. Yeah. Coming from a country where we have tests and regulations for everything, Profile is good, installation is good, hardware is good, everything is good. But now coming in 2006 to a country where regulation was just not there. At this point of time, consumers are going to buy the channel in the market, having the carpenter at site, going again to the market, selecting themselves the hardware, giving the glass size to the shop person, then buying the glass again locally, fitting everything together. Warranty on the product, zero. After one year, I have to start replacing all those yeah. items. Now with the UPVC window, we came in with an factory made product which is complete and then of course for the functionality every day I'll open and close it even if my profiles may look super shapey after some time because maybe of a bad formulation but the hardware is the most crucial yeah. thing because when my hardware gives up then the entire window goes malfunction and I can't use the product at all yeah. so I'll, I'll pull this conversation back 30 40 years right a window was known as a piece of glass surrounded by a frame of wood and with a chitkani, a bolt. Or yeah. steel. Or steel. Yeah. So you tell me, Bhaji, from those days to now, what has changed? Well, a lot has changed. I'll, I'll go back uh, from where uh, we left out some points, like put in a question how many builders no. are technically, Aware. you know, qualified mm -hmm. or educated technically, uh, could be an engineer, could be an architect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the irony is that uh, in engineering as well as architect, glass and glazing is not a subject. Glass and glazing is not a subject which is taught in engineering colleges and architect. Even today? Yeah, it's, they, it's started to get in. We are trying to push in because the moment you uh, talk to any engineering college or architect, they want a curriculum, they want you to set up the papers and do a lot of... So we, we are now starting a program or we have already started in So that. a message they, to people who are running universities, come to us, we have a curriculum ready. You make money, yeah, make people at least educated. We uh, are also uh, running a program, train the trainers. For first, we got from 45 different institutes, we right. got people into IIT Madras, put them in the hostel for three days, and it included like deans and head of the department of the uh, colleges and we could give them a three day workshop on glass and glazing. So it is, it is coming in, people were interested, now all the institutes want this as a subject but they want to do, want us to do uh, everything which is not possible but, because but tell me, we who may else? be experts but we are not a good teacher. But who else will do it sir? The industry no, no. has to do it. We will train the trainers. Correct. We will teach the teachers. Who will then teach the students? So what has changed? Go back 30, 40 years, glass, metal and wood. Uh, well, <coughs> previously it was metal frames. MS ki ek uh, frame hai seedha tha. Usme glass ko lagaya. Patti bade. Charo pero se putti laga di. Or usme ek, uh, uh, almost everyone must have known people who belong to that era. That when you order a glass, the glassman takes the measurements. He brings in the glass a little bit bigger. Yeah. And then cuts, cuts it, it to the exact size of the window and then it fits into the window. And that's the worst thing that you can do because glass should have margins on all yeah. sides, on both the faces For as it. well as from all the edges. But why? Why? Because there is different uh, coefficient of expansion of... Uh, yeah. No, explain. One. Coefficient of expansion. 
from a customer point of view how the hell does he care about the coefficient of no, expansion no because when you when when the when so explain the coefficient of expansion coefficient of expansion is siddhe galich matlab typically with temperature there is a change in size of the glass of, of any, any, material. Any, material. any material any material so <clears throat> the rate at which a uh, steel would expand is uh, different from what glass will ex expand right and uh, similarly in upvc upvc will be much lower uh, uh, you know expansion, expansion than the glass itself so <clears throat> you need to keep a margin on all four sides so would i fair to say that if my glass broke it was cut to size and all of a sudden it broke because it expanded and there was yeah, no yeah you suddenly saw that it's cracked yes. cracked matlab agar wo jagah nahi thi usme to wo shattered aapke ghar mein bahut baar shisha toot jata hai khade khade kyun toot jata hai kisi ne koi bhoot nahi aaya wo jagah nahi thi usme that's why it uh, it, it just it cracked find place to Uh, but there is another way that uh, toughened glass which cause which breaks into small yeah, pieces spontaneous why pieces. it uh, uh, suddenly breaks without a provocation nobody is even standing near it yeah. is a different subject which we will yes. cover uh, maybe uh, so it's a, what he is talking about toughened glass and it breaks into small pieces it becomes a design piece at your house <laughs> because you say are wow what a great design no, no, that i have done glass breaking on its own is a very 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 big concern uh, it's a very big concern but is it dangerous You Not buy a really. product, you spend the amount, and many, many times also for us using lakhs of glasses every year. Those few places which are coming are creating always a very, very big uncomfort. The solution is heat soak. But the standard should it be made? Also, there is a process where the spondon breakage does not happen, yeah. but the process is almost as costly as making the glass toughened yeah. and then via yeah. commercials. Yeah, people are taking the risk. but there i think the industry should really go a step ahead my personal opinion and my experience that each and every toughened glass should be by default heat soak so that the consumer who buys a product in good faith in good faith that it works it breaks and then we are saying hey as per the standard and as per the chemical component nickel sulfate very detailed it can break so mari i'm going to take this step uh, one step it's, it's just, backward just what is toughened glass uh, and what is heat soak glass Because the glass goes into the window and then you finally buy it. Yep. So start with the basic. I Sorry to interrupt. Your glasses are actually also forking. Please tell me. <laughs> well, uh, they are because they are single glasses, and <laughs> the outside temperature and the inside humidity that's coming from the but, eye. But that happens in my house. Because it's on the glass and that's a problem. But that happens. That happens in homes all the time. Yeah. So uh, you know, earlier when we used to have wooden windows, uh, this problem used to be less prevalent. after the sealed windows there is a problem of condensation and you know uh, water on the glass in the walls uh, as well there, there it's it's very clear because that time the wooden windows were not properly sealed yes so there was always some air exchange yes so a little bit of ventilation yes. even when you are driving a car right. and you see too much frost coming yes. you, you open, open your window, window just half an inch yeah and you see because there is air exchange it will the problem will be minimized